Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update. This is our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. I'm down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. For those of you who are just joining us, thanks for sticking around and definitely want to keep an eye on what's going on with the weather situation in the Mid-South. We'd love to have you along for the ride, so if there's anything you'd like to know in the way of a forecast question for the Mid-South, drop it into the comments section and we'll do our best to help you out on that. We cover, if you've never joined us before, the areas of East Arkansas, West Tennessee, and Northern Mississippi, so we'll be talking more about those areas. More of our forecasts available here at wreg.com weather. My email address down here at the bottom of the screen. Forecast for the rest of the area tonight. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s for lows. Tomorrow's temperatures back in the lower 80s with more showers and thunderstorms, but right now mostly cloudy in downtown Memphis with temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s. So if you have any plans for outdoors today, probably should be able to keep most of them, but just be prepared to get yourself back indoors again should it become necessary with these storms out there. Again, most of the area should be dry for most of the rest of the morning, but by the time we hit around the area of this morning into this afternoon, that's where we're going to be seeing the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms into the Mid-South. Again, not a huge amount taking place at this time, but by the time we work our way to about mid to late morning, that's where we see the potential for more showers and thunderstorms out there, and that includes throughout the course of the rest of the day, with chances of showers and thunderstorms really starting to ramp up by about noon. The sun shining down on the lower sections of the atmosphere, getting things bubbling up by just a little bit, and getting the atmosphere more active. That's where we see, again, the potential for more of these showers and thunderstorms to continue and go throughout the rest of the afternoon and into this evening. So if you have any outdoor plans earlier, technically would be better rather than later. But again, keeping an eye on the situation throughout the rest of the Mid-South. We'll be keeping our eyes on that throughout the rest of the day today. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more updates on that. And we'll let you know more about what's going on in the area as we go throughout the rest of the day today. Let's take a look and see what's going on with the forecast. Again, early this morning into this afternoon, we're going to be seeing most of the activity moving its way through by about early this morning into this afternoon. The temperatures will be back in the lower to mid 80s across much of the Mid-South area. So we do see again more chances of showers and thunderstorms. Kind of a repeat process and also if you're just tuning in at just past 7 o'clock uh, in the morning, the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch for Northeast Arkansas and the Missouri Boot Hill area. Poinsett and Mississippi counties in Arkansas are under this flash flood watch until 7 o'clock tonight for the possibility of more heavy rain heading in from out west. Rest of the day today, again, showers and thunderstorms developing to the east of the Mississippi River right on in through this afternoon and this evening. And it looks like by the time we hit News Channel 3 daybreak early tomorrow morning, we're going to be seeing more chances of light showers dropping on through. Doesn't look like a huge chance for now, but again, more chances of rainfall will be rebuilding into the area as we go into Sunday, especially east of the Mississippi. And then as we go into the rest of the forecast towards Sunday night, the chances of rain exit the Mid-South and that's going to be about it where it comes to anything involving rainfall across much of the area for at least Monday. Then as we get into the next couple days, we see that potential for showers and thunderstorms leaving the area. Severe threat for today, the Storm Prediction Center. This forecast is several hours old, so we will be getting an update coming up here relatively soon. When we get that, we will pass that along to you. Slight risk of severe weather for the area shaded in yellow. That includes all of northern Mississippi, southeastern and east central Arkansas, and then the yellow for much of west Tennessee. That does include, again, areas in and around the Memphis metro area. So if you have any plans for outdoors again through the rest of the day today, including the metro. You're going to have to make certain that you know where to go to should we have severe weather taking place. So definitely want to have that safe place ready to go just to be on the safe side. And it looks like more widespread chances of showers and thunderstorms into the rest of the morning into this afternoon. Late this morning, early this afternoon, that'll be about the prime time for severe weather coming on through. More chances of rainfall involving severe weather not expected into the area tomorrow, nor are we seeing anything for Monday. But we do still Still have that next storm system lurking off to the west which is going to be heading on through and that could be giving us again the potential for more showers and thunderstorms out there but just not as we go into the early portion of this next week. Rest of the forecast again for today showers and thunderstorms may not be getting them all day long but the potential for them will be there so again the best possibility late this morning early this afternoon that's where we start to see again the potential for more of the problems heading our direction. 
thanks to everybody for joining us on our netcast this morning for weather overtime our exclusive online video weather blog please share this on twitter or periscope or wherever you happen to be for this morning we're in the mid-south at wreg news channel three for those of you just joining us west tennessee north mississippi and east arkansas rest of the morning into this afternoon again more chances of showers and thunderstorms more clouds tomorrow and more rainfall for sunday isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms out there all that cloud cover and rainfall is going to do a very good job of blocking out the sunshine so we'll be seeing temperatures a little bit cooler tomorrow back into around the mid to upper 70s and then not doing too bad for monday normal at this time of the year for high temperatures is about 80 degrees so we'll be just below that as we get into sunday and monday chances of showers and thunderstorms gone from the forecast as we get into monday and then we also see again the potential for more showers and thunderstorms just what we didn't need on top of all that rainfall from a couple of weeks ago making its way into the area for tuesday through about thursday and then a bit of a break coming up on friday before we get into more chances of showers and thunderstorms by next weekend if you want to see the 10-day forecast drop by our uh, daybreak show that'll be coming up here in just a few minutes i've got to get on air and get that taken care of here so stay tuned for more on that on news channel 3 daybreak we'll be on the air until nine o'clock this morning so definitely want to join myself and co-anchor nina harrelson out there doing the news for right now rest of the day today if you can't sign in online or watch on air listen on the radio country 92.5 or oldies 102.3 and we'll keep you updated on the forecast there and i'll be back on the air monday morning on am 7:30 Yahoo Sports Radio Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. Stay tuned for more with a complete forecast there on over our one of the best sports chat shows in the Mid South. There again, that's AM 7:30 Monday through Friday at 7 to 9 a.m. And of course, all these various social media networks that you can find me on, along with a complete forecast out there. We'll have more tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10. Also into tomorrow as well. And if anything does turn severe, keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll break in and let you know a little bit more about what's going on out there. I've got to get back on set for our 7.15 weather update with Daybreak, so stay, stay tuned for that. Again, comments, questions, ideas, austin.onic at wreg.com. Complete forecast available, wreg.com slash weather, and a complete check of your forecast throughout the entire weekend with us on air or online. Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Austin Onic from the WREG TV News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3.